SpaceX has announced the targeted launch date for the first Starship orbital flight. In this video, we will be discussing some of the significant talking points from this announcement. Let's get started. It was previously planned for SpaceX to conduct a launch rehearsal this week, which has now been cancelled, and the rocket will be launched directly next week on the 17th. However, weather conditions on the launch day can affect the launch of any rocket. Therefore, we will be keeping an eye on it as well. You might be thinking, hey SpaceX Lee, what about the FAA license? Here is my take on it. We already know some groups may challenge it once granted. So, the FAA might hold off on granting the license and hopefully issue it just a few hours before the launch to avoid a potential injunction that could cause a delay. This is just my speculation, and I think SpaceX would not have announced the launch date if they were unsure of obtaining the license on time. Moving on to the timeline and flight profile of the Starship orbital flight, loading propellants into the tanks will begin 1 hour and 40 minutes minutes before launch on launch day. At T-0 second, excitement is guaranteed. It's funny how SpaceX tries to make this test flight mission as exciting as Elon always says. This statement holds true though. This is a test flight mission and success is not guaranteed, but excitement is. Uh, excitement is guaranteed. Success is not guaranteed, but excitement certainly is. If the rocket leaves the pad in one piece, the next major milestones will be max Q and stage separation. The booster will splash down in the Gulf of Mexico with propulsive landing. For the ship, after reaching orbit, S-24 will coast around the planet for about 78 minutes and will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. The ship will not perform the belly flop maneuver or vertical landing and will splash down the way it enters the atmosphere. No soft landing for S-24. Hitting the waters with that terminal velocity will be crazy to think of. However, there is a possibility that anything could go wrong during the mission. We may not see any of these events happening. That is why FTS will be armed on the rocket. If anything goes off against the permissible limits, FTS will be instantly activated. If everything goes out as planned, the total duration of the mission will be 90 minutes. The purpose of this flight is to collect as much data as possible to make Starship operational in the coming months. So, don't miss the live stream of this historic mission. With John and Sprucker's commentary, more excitement is guaranteed. We are so excited that the Starship orbital flight is finally happening and we can sense the excitement on the internet as well as around the actual launch site. Let us know how excited you are in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.